God alone. Amen. Please look at your hands and tell me what you see. What do you think those hands can do? We use them, but we underutilize these hands. Tell me what you think your hands can do. Yes, Njabul. When you look at your hands, what do you think can come out of your hands? I think what can come from your hands depends on the situation at hand. Because God takes the place that you're in and brings something out of that situation and that space. Mm -hmm. So my hands are able to do, like Moses, at a point, the stuff he used was able to turn into two snakes. And at another point, it was able to split the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. So depending on the situation, his hands were able to do more than one thing. But do you think he knew all that, that what was in his hand could do that? No, he did not. The situation's brought it up. Many people don't even know what their hands can do. They would rather believe God than believe themselves. And you don't believe that you can do all things through Christ. You think God will do things for you. You don't believe that you can do certain things, but you want to believe God that he will do it. But he says, I've given you something. Either than life, I've given you something that only you can have. There's nobody who has the footprints that you have. It's only you. But we don't understand what is placed in us or we take it for granted until it's taken away. Moses never knew the stick that he had, what it could do, because he was busy with blame shifting and looking at other people and accusing other people for his own failures. At a certain point, he says, they will not believe you, me. How can they believe you when you don't believe yourself? He was looking at his impaired speech because Moses began gingis. Ati, Baba, mauting hambe. They will not believe me. Now, some of you, you are also saying, if I do it, it will not work. Now, out of that frustration, you are looking for people to accuse, but it's your failure. Because if you don't believe, no one will believe you. You can't say, it's the team that made me do, no, oh, it's my mother, it's my husband. Moses is chosen by God. He's been walking around with something that does miracles. He's not away. He's assigned to go and do some work. Now the first thing, he is looking out for people's opinion. Are we not there? What will they think? They will not believe me. People's destinies are paralyzed because we want people to approve of what we do without the approval of God. Where we are going, if you are not creative, you are not going to survive. Tell neighbor. <laughs> Tell neighbor, neighbor, buildings will be sold, people will be working from home. There is a new norm. Now you have to be perpetually creative. Yes. You must be a 360 degree thinker. What next? What is the niche? What is the market? Because he didn't know that whatever he has already, it's here. Some of us, we are looking for, we've been running away from a lot of things. Why? Because you say, they will not believe me. When God got hold of Moses, he was in his 40th year of running away. You run away from a relationship, you run away from commitment, you run away from responsibility, you run away from acknowledging your mistakes, you run away from improvement, you run away from change. And I don't know how long people will be running away from all these things. 
Some of you, you run away from love. I'm going to write me one. I'm going to write one. I'm going to write one. No, this is a wounded buffalo. It's still healing. All the things that we hide from. God says, I've given you something to deal with them. But you don't know that you have the capacity. Because you are too busy. Every time you say, this cannot be done, just know you have forgotten what is in your... Yes, you must have an engineering mind. Engineers are forever looking for solution. Don't tell you that it can be done. Now, you need to be innovative in your spiritual matters now. Let's run away from religion. We must apply to say, God, I understand the situation. I understand the change. I understand what is happening to me. But within me, what capabilities do I have? What strength? Because when I say, you are my strength, strength comes from within, not from within a group, from inside. The strength comes from inside. You know, something has to happen to you to understand the problem that you have is the trigger of your strength. You would not have known how strong you are if you did not have that problem. Ah, no, you don't. The thing is, you come to God at uh, today's service. God speaks every second. If that thing did not happen to you, you wouldn't know the strength from the stomach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No. Inside. Who you want? And lean. Ikshayela. Who's booze? Good Baba. Gula 60 million. Leas South Africa. Wa keta mina yin na. Ila. And it's unexplainable because it's a spiritual matter. The problems we face, they are the trigger and the thermometer to show how much strengthened we are in private. Run away from publicity. Be private with your Christianity. Lindsay. Where's any? Have you seen a hen laying eggs? What do they do after that? They sit on those eggs and they protect. When you have a revelation, after God shows you what exactly you are, what he wants to do with you, then you sit on the eggs and you protect them. You don't look left. You don't look right. Now Moses has got a stick. He's got an assignment. He's brought back for a bigger task. He's worried. What will people say about my speech? Will they accept me? Will I be famous? They are going to criticize me. Because he does not know what he has. It's got nothing to do with what people think. We just need to take God serious. Even the people that are saying, there's no jobs, there's no this, there's no this. If somebody could look at their stove with their right mind, I'm telling you the truth. We don't see what is in our hands. We don't see. That's the painful part of it. We don't see what God has already done. We are looking for solution outside ourselves. Everybody, 90% of you people, you believe in your work so much and you believe in other people and we want to be this tanky Christian, tanky, tanky. That's why people's opinions matter. I can't lipstick red at least. I can hello, Millie, every day. 
You don't understand that God can give you that industry to actually manufacture that lipstick that she is consuming. Ah. <laughs> but it takes the mindset. As I grow in the spirit, I'm growing in wisdom. There are things that I will not dare do in God's presence because I want to hear him. Like tell him, I can't. He speaks every second. Now he's saying, my fellow children, my fellow daughters and sons, you are exclusive. Last week I told you about an exceptional person. I told you about extraordinary people. He has identified those people. Now he says this week, there is something in your hand. It's only exclusive to you. Only you. But it cannot be unleashed if you forget what you have and look at the next person, then you say, Moses, the first thing, you see, in private, he did not have confidence in himself. Now in public, he's telling God, how will they believe me? I don't know how to speak. You do not believe yourself, but you believe other people. That's why it's a problem to switch off your phone to switch off your TV, to sit in a quiet place and open your Bible. If you are quiet, it's the music. Say, Amen. <laughs> it's the TV. The TV. I have seen very few people, quiet time, the phone is off, everything is, every gadget, it's quiet, it's just the beds. Even when they're saying they're mediate, meditating, there's earphones here. They have distraction. They're listening to worship song, or they're listening to message, or they're listening to super channel. They can't stand themselves alone and say, God, I want to hear you. I know I have something, but what is that? If the work is taken away, the money is taken away, all these things that we try to make us, if they are not there, would we identify ourselves who we are? Those people, you must admire them. They didn't have anything that was tangible to give them identity. They came to God as they, as they were. They didn't cling to me, I'm a pastor, I'm a nurse, I'm an engineer, I'm a teller, I'm a teacher. No, they came to God as they were. It was easy to follow God because what they clung to was genuine to say, my father, I don't have anything. If you're saying to me, I must go and do what you say I must go and do, I don't have the confidence. That stick that you have, it's not going to change and be live on the floor. You need to take it by the tail. Now certain things, will not happen until you believe yourself. <laughs> not crowd. Individualism. Christianity is private. That's a problem. Mudumuto Araba according to your faith. Not group. I've given you a rod. You don't understand that when I throw, when you throw the rod, it's going to change. When you pick it by the tail, it will change to a snake. Now, naturally, can you imagine a snake in your house? Tell neighbor. <laughs> that is the first barrier, our thinking. Barigele copra, come on through. And you have to go and get that crop, copra, and pull it by there? What comes to your mind? Some of you are running away from marriages that God has given you, from partners that God has given you. 
from businesses that God has given you, from ideas that God has given you, from association that God has given you, good things that God has given you. You are still running away. The situations, you are running away. But it's God. You are running away from what God has sent to you. Because change must happen. Change must, you need to change. You can't be the way you, you know how many, if you don't change, you are a blocking point to how many people, because when people see you, they must see Christ, not you. In your house, in your office, wherever you are, let people be interested in the person you keep on calling. Now we run away from the situations. Running away. You're running away. God brings somebody, you're running away. God brings an opportunity, you're running away. God brings love, you run away. God brings happiness, you run away. I get you used to running. He's running away. He says, Oh no, Lord, I can't speak. Oh no, Lord, they won't hear me. What are you saying? You don't believe yourself. How can people believe you? If you're doing something, you are not sure of it. Hmm? There's no confidence. You leave things halfway. I know. It won't work. Bako na bo makala bang a kit. Tell me gan wako. Young kin tabai kala bayanzim. There are people with great potential. They are waiting for someone to change their lives. Sitting in their destinies. Because they don't believe themselves. How can you help that kind of a person? God says, but you have to believe yourself. I'm telling you, that looks like a stick. It's not going to change when you are holding it. You must throw it down and pull it by the head, by the tail. Then it will change. Some of the situations they need action. Say, so by this time, next year, this is what I want to achieve. This is how I'm going to do it. You can't just sit there and call about shit. No. Nothing is going to happen. You have to initiate your faith now. Say, prophetess on the 29th of November reminded me I have something more than what money can buy. It's right here. Yes. Exodus chapter 4 from verse 1. But Moses protested again. What if they won't believe me or listen to me? What if they say the Lord never appeared to you? Verse 2. Then the Lord asked him, what is that in your hand? Mm. A shepherd's staff, Moses replied. Verse 3, throw it down on the ground, the Lord told him. So Moses threw it down, the staff, and it turned into a snake. Moses jumped back. <laughs> Tell neighbor, you'll never be great as long as you keep on jumping back. As long as you keep on quitting. Because you have to reach your destiny. You can't do things the same way every time. There should be some point of change. You need to see progress. You need to see direction. Amen. There needs to be some kind of evident change. Unless if you are not tired of the way you... I mean, I'm tired. I need that 2021 when it comes must bring change. It has to bring improvement. Now, if you keep on jumping from things, jumping from correction, yeah, there are people who are like that. You can't correct them, then they jump. You can't talk to them, then they jump. That is just the weakness. They're quitters. Now, you can't be great if you are a quitter. If you keep, I'm running away. I'm running away. You can't be great as long as you are running. Face it. There is no situation that cannot be resolved. You must face it and make decisions. Don't quit. I don't know what you are running away from. Moses was running away from the snake. You have your own snakes. You have your own things that you are running. Aha! Confront it. You must confront your inefficiencies don't involve people. Don't blame shift. 
Don't accuse others for your mistakes. Take response. Eh? Yes. Because at the end of the day, um to nom to kwanele ayenzeni as male, I go in community la papezul. One by one. I go na missi sini kwa. We came la uli. One. Zmelo weto. Ushugut ngenzel ngalempi lo baba. Ngelo gutu ngeni se gutu 2021. Ati ngelo why. Mugi e gunge nuzo confuse confuse. Ungepe reason. Why often we go to next year? We born. Um, tell Baba, if we no change, oh, go down and get leg. I'm running away from a snake, literally and technically. Probably you are running away from a financial situation. You are running away from unforgiveness and all these issues. You want to carry them over. You are running away from uncertainties. This year has been a very unstable year, and it's emotional because people are not seeing what God is saying. They're feeling what they're going through. They're not getting the message. Now, they would rather run away and wait for 2021. Anything that you run from, you cannot solve. You have to face it. Facing king, and you must start talking to things. Amen. That's why God was emulating this situation with a rod. You need to start talking to things. Talk to your situations. Look, your belief system has to change. Otherwise, you are going to be like any other Christian that comes from church to church, but they do not see the results. I am aligning you and setting you up for greatness. It's hard out there. It's tough. Honestly, when you are truthful, it's tough out there. And when you've been with the master, you need to make sure that your foundation is thicker than your skin. Your skin. It's not easy. That's what I'm saying to you now. Be sure what you have so that you are not easily intimidated. Yeah. And you need to build the confidence. In private. When I say private, I'm talking about privacy now. We want to be extend. I am what the word of God says. I'm above and not beneath. I am one with Christ. Whatever Christ owns, I own with him. Amen. I'm going to face the world. There's all types of people out there who will say, because they say, faith comes out by hearing. When you hear that discredit and it gets into you, then you also think you are stammering at a point of your life. And you believe it that you are not good enough. That's why people do not trust themselves. You put her, we put, hey, Amantamazan, we put everything to look better because we don't believe. Amen. Get traffic, two hours. <laughs> because we, we don't believe that we, are, we, we must, in fact, I'll propose a pyjama service. We're working so hard towards externals and the internal is left intact. That is the problem. Now you need to understand I am good enough. I don't have to do anything. I just have to work at my progress. Not my looks. Not external things. My spirituality, my faith, my belief system, my efficiency. These things, you can't touch them, you can't weigh them. It's the way of living. Say, so I need to improve. I want to be better. How do I become better? Better in thinking, not in dressing. Better in conduct, better in behavior. Because if I'm a prophet that is unchanged and God calls me to nations with that attitude and character, there's a certain way, just like the presidents. Once they are president elect, they go for training, course on speech, conduct, behavior, the walk. Obama was taught how to walk. 
That's why he was walking and dressing the way he was, because he was had to think like a president. Preparation. But you can see people who have been prepared for that kind of position. Preparation. The mindset. The conduct changes. You can't be loose. Something must happen to you. No, 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 no. Something must happen to you. I have a few testimonies of people I've seen, the way they walked when they came through that door and who they are now. Now we can see that there's a lady there. A woman. And he's talking to the husband. Uh -uh. Now as the revelation expands, who's who's Because they're becoming deep. You don't have to answer every question. You don't have to say everything. Silence cannot be misquoted. But it comes with maturity. You are getting deeper. I'm getting deeper. There are things that I couldn't see, but now I see. Thank you, Lord. I didn't know. You mean the same hands can do this? Oh, revelation shocks you and puts you straight. You mean this thing I can do? This thing I can It's possible. Now you look like Moses. You think like Moses. You perceive like Moses. The first thing, it won't happen. They will not believe me. Those are self-destructive tendencies. Because you don't believe. You can't rise above your association. And their confession, what they say and what they think, it can really capture you. Do you know that some of the relationships you are in, if you were not with that person, you'd be very far.